Have you heard the saying, a summer body is created in winter? Well, it's not just about looking good at the beach. Summer is when we're naturally more fit and more active, but it is harder if we've lost our fitness through the cold months. Here today with the essential six exercises for building your summer bod, Jamie Best from Mad Fit Morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you back, Jamie. Thank you. And we've got Shanna as well. Now, Shanna, you're going to be doing some demonstrations for us. You've got the short straw there, but you've had an incredible success story yourself as well, haven't you? Yeah, no, I have. It's been a massive change for me. Um, I was a stay-at-home mum last February, stay-at-home mum, and I was a bit lost. I uh, had two little ones at home, and I had didn't have much self-confidence. Um, I was feeling a bit, a bit lost and I had all my mum friends had gone back to work right. um, and yeah I basically just wanted to get out there and try and get a bit, a bit more energy. Uh, yeah, that's I, a big thing. So, how much weight did you lose? Sixteen kilos. Sixteen kilos. Yeah. And yeah. so, what? How did you go about doing it? <laughs> um, mad fit. Um, I joined. Um, didn't think that I would lose that much weight. I wanted to just lose five kilos. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've come quite a long way. And 16 kilos yeah. later, there you go. Oh, that is wonderful. And so we've got you here to demonstrate some of these exercises, which you're obviously going to be very, very good at. And what a great feeling to have, to be 16 kgs down. Oh, I feel like a completely different person. And more energy to run after children? Yeah. Because they can be exhausted. Yeah. They, really they can. find it hard to keep up with me now. <laughs> good. That's what it should be too. Uh, so, Jamie, essential exercises. You've got some that our viewers can do at home as well? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, when you're at home, you know, sitting, watching TV, there's some things you can do on the ad breaks and stuff like that. Or so. you you could be doing them right now, couldn't you? You could, you could, you could get up and you can join in. You go and do this, get, get up and start joining in. <laughs> I'm going to watch because I've got inappropriate clothing on. So Shanna, you start with the first exercise and Jamie, talk us through it. So Shanna's going to show us a squat, which is great for your legs. Um, you want to be doing workouts that are going to burn the most calories if your goal is weight loss. So doing something like a squat uses the biggest muscle groups, which is our legs. She's going to make sure she keeps her knees out when she's coming down and has a good firm platform with her feet on the ground. Okay, cool. Excellent. Let's move to lunges. Awesome. So she's going to come down onto one leg. She's going to keep her shoulders nice and straight and she's going to look towards wherever she's facing so she keeps her chest up. Um, and this is working her bum and her leg muscles as well. Okay, high knees. Yes, so Shanna hates this one, but <laughs> high knees are awesome for burning calories. So she's going to bring her knees up as high as she can, get her sweat on. She wants to be doing this for around the 10 second mark to the 30 second mark. So high intensity interval training. It's really hard. Does that help your um, your abdominal muscles as well? You can yeah. stop now. Yeah, Ooh. definitely. Ooh. Definitely. I'm going to make you keep doing that for I hate high knees. They're so difficult, but so, so effective as well. Okay, so exercise four, press ups and toe taps. Yes, so press ups are awesome. They're going to work her chest muscles and her arms. So she's going to come down into a press up position. A good transitional position for people starting is to do a press up on your knees. That's the one. Come down and back up. Awesome. And what do you have to make sure of when you're doing a press up correctly? Um, she needs to make sure that her elbows are shoulder width apart and that she's coming to where she's comfortable going to. Especially with mums, um, sometimes they can end up with some complications after having babies and stuff like that. So just making sure she's doing what she's comfortable doing. Okay, what were the toe taps? Toe tap. So this is another great high intensity interval training exercise. She's going to turn around here. She's going to tap her feet onto the couch. That's it. She's going to get them higher than that. So she's going to touch the top of the couch with them. Okay, Shannon, Perfect. you can stop now. That's enough for you. I can, I can feel your pain right there. That is difficult. Yeah, awesome. Um, tricep dips. How can we do these at home? So these are great for the back of your arms. So a lot of mums are worried about their arms wriggling around. Batwings. So you want to be doing these at home. Um, the aim to be sort of doing would be 10 to 15 reps. If you can do more than that, then make it a bit harder. Maybe add a weight on your on your knee, your baby, or a milk thing from in the fridge, or maybe move your legs out a bit straighter. Right, and you can actually literally, you can be doing this as you're watching TV. Oh, definitely. But it's, it's the motivation that's the hard part. Yeah, it so is So you've motivation. got to want to do it. And let's end with some explosive cardio, because we haven't made you work hard enough yet. <laughs> definitely. So Shannon's going to show us a burpee. This is a great exercise. It works out every muscle in your body, and you burn lots of calories. So if you want abs, the key to get abs is to burn fat, and the key to burn fat is to burn calories. So something like this is much more efficient than doing something like a crunch where you're just... Wow, OK. Moving. Ten more, Shanna. No, it's all right. <laughs> really. I feel so bad watching people exercise and I'm sitting here. So how long before you start to notice a bit of a difference once you start your training? Um, it really depends how committed you are. Um, you've got to have a goal in mind and you've got to 
stick to that goal. So have non-negotiables, things that you don't let get in the way. You know, get up in the morning, put your exercise gear at the end of the bed, um, have a plan, you know, and yeah, stick to it. Don't make things too hard and too unreasonable because you'll give up. Yeah, exactly. Baby steps to begin with. Hey, Definitely. it's been always a pleasure, Jamie. And Shanna, well done. Thank and you. congratulations. And thank, thank you for you. doing those demos.